We now go to the northwest where our reporter Zintle Kanyane is there and joins us now. Now, Zintle, I spoke to um, an ACP earlier on and um, I asked the question, is this strike legal? We understand as of yesterday, municipalities across the country did not give Nahao the, the, the permission that they needed to strike. So is this a legal strike? It doesn't appear so, Unati. We know that this particular strike was supposed to begin at the Manziwa uh, uh, Stadium, which is about five kilometers from here. But we understand that decision was quickly changed this morning, and uh, the, the protesters now had to move just outside the provincial legislature. In fact, we are outside the Mabato Convention Center for them to march just a stone, a stone throw away. It's about 100 meters to um, the uh, provincial legislature where they'll be handing over their memorandum. And the sudden change of that plan is due to the fact that it seems as though there's no consent from the municipality for this particular strike. Remember also, Unati, we're still under the lockdown regulations and uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, which prohibits big gatherings like protests and march marches like this. So that is why we are seeing what is transpiring in Cape Town as well as here. But it seems as though the leadership here have, have made an agreement with the police uh, for them to just march about 100 meters to their destination. We know that the Premier has confirmed that he will be receiving their memorandum um, at around 12 o'clock. But and some other statistics that are alarming that may perhaps give us perspective why there's been a call for this national strike. There's been 24,000 infected healthcare professionals um, in the country infected with COVID-19. And also, moreover, there's over 180 deaths that have occurred in the healthcare system, particularly here in the Northwest. It's, we've had 24 healthcare professionals dying. And it's issues like that that, that have uh, forced this union to take to the streets, irregardless of the lockdown regulations. But I want to bring in the regional secretary of the Mahikeng branch here to give us more insight on the purpose of this particular strike. Thank you so much, Dom Zotwa. Um, just in bullet points and very briefly, what are your demands today? We are demanding that the employer, the government in the Northwest province, they must implement occupational health and safety. They must ensure that there are occupational health and safety teams in all the workplaces. We are demanding that the risk assessment plan be in place for the, for, for the employers to be able to monitor on a continuous basis that they are, they are coping in terms of the COVID-19 regulations. We have experienced deaths in, in, in the Northwest province. We, our members got infected because of non-compliance to, to, to COVID-19 regulations. And we have been saying it. It was like we are, we are not telling you, we are being unreasonable as the union when we were demanding that the employer must ensure that workers get PPE. To date, there are still workplaces there are, that are without PPE. And it is very sad because now we are losing our members. And for us as Nehau, one life matters because you find that one worker takes care of more than three to four families. So we cannot put it to, to numbers. Only one life, it's a lot for us as the union. Dom Zotwa, you've had these um, uh, uh, meetings and mediations with the health department, particularly the MEC himself. Now, over a long period of time, you as a union have decided to embark on this national strike. Does this indicate that those negotiations with the MEC have not been fruitful and that is why you are going to his superior, the Premier, to hand over this memorandum, which should in the first place be handed to the MEC himself? In as much as we have been engaging with the MEC of the Department of Health, we, we, we're going to the Premier as the chairperson of the Command Council in the Northwest Province. And we know that as the chairperson of the Provincial Command Council, he must enforce implementation of, of COVID regulations. Because if the MEC on his side is failing, then the chairperson must be accountable to the, to the workers.
so much, Domzota, for your time. That was the regional secretary of Nehao here in Mahigang, saying that it's, fruit, it's fruitless um, interactions with the MEC of held Madweta Sambata that have led them to take to the streets. She's saying now they're going to his superior to ensure that he forces the MEC to implement the regulations that will protect healthcare workers. She's saying that up till now there are healthcare professionals that are operating without PPEs and deaths are continuing to rise here in the Northwest. So those are just some of the concerns that these protesters are marching for this morning.